Good morning and welcome to Onif TV. My name is Pris. Starting off, um, the appeal court, as you know, has said that Adeleke is qualified was and is qualified to contest for the Ocean State election. You know that there's been so much, you know, drama con concerning the um, Adeleke being, you know, eligible to contest. Some people have come out to say that, you know, his result is fake. After the whole result scandal that happened that, you know, his, um, with his secondary school work certificate and we, there's been so much issues on it. We've, con we've talked about it, you know, for, um, we've talked about it consecutively. Um, you know, initially the APC took him to court consigning the certificate. A court justice, you know, said, the court justice said that he was eligible to contest. A set of civilians did the same thing. They said he was able to contest. INEC, you know, there's just been basically a lot of people that have not dropped the case. Finally, the appeal court has said that Adeliki was eligible to contest for the Ashun State governorship election. So the, it, um, the result then is out of it, finally. And the judge in charge of the case also said that the that the case you know another case should not have been filed that it should have been filed as an appeal to the judgment that was given already that that was barring um court rule already so basically a delicate is in the clear except something else comes up for now we are we all know that you know he's in the clear of uh of contesting he was well in his right to contest and people that were saying initially that he should be he should no longer bear the senator tag and basically you know that's a silence that's silencing all of them he was eligible to contest he is eligible to contest and the appeal court we're still waiting for the appeal court ruling in the ocean state governorship election recall that tribunal actually tribunal declared that they naked the winner of the INEC declared we told her the winner of the election tribunal declared that Deleke, the court, high court declared, you know, the PDP, the APC appealed the tribunal, the tribunal ruling immediately. So um, the appeal court declared Oyetola as the governor of Washington State and uh, PDP is taking it to the to Supreme Court. So we're waiting for the Supreme Court judgment on the ocean state election i think ocean state citizens are actually very anxious to know what happens do we continue with our already incumbent governor or are we going to have somebody else you know that that's what was was this kind of thing that happened during the Oilola ralph aregueshola period that was almost the same drama that played out then although it took about three years but in, in, eventually aregueshola was declared as the governor of ocean states that's what happened then so you know, we are hoping it doesn't take that long again in this state, this um, Supreme Court um, issue that we're waiting for. But our fingers are crossed, you know, concerning that. Okay, Naramali, we all know, I don't have to go over the Naramali story again. I think everybody already knows that already. His bill hearing was set for 30th of May, that's yesterday. And his bill was set at 2 million naira. So he has to pay 2 million naira. And... Uh, when we say bill i think people kind of confuse bill with the fact that he was discharged and acquitted of all you know all allegations that were leveled against him what happens during bill is that when he is granted bill it means that he can come from home you know he can go to his house and the subsequent court proceedings he would come from home for the for subsequent court proceedings that's that's just basically what it means it's not that the case against him has been dropped by the efcc it only means that he can go home now and court as the court proceedings continue subsequent ones he'll be coming from the house by himself that's what it means that he was granted bail and um if you see social media yesterday you know the malians as they call themselves the, that's the fans of naramali i've taken to social media you know to say how happy they are for the return of their boss but if that about sounds right so that's um that's that now EFCC is set to arraign. Recall, I think everybody can remember the story when we heard that 35 million naira swallowed. Um, sorry, it's next swallowed 35 million naira in Nigeria. Jambo face. 
the lady in question that was in charge of the money that said that the money was swallowed by snake the story then was that i think snake entered the safe or something and she felt she saw the snake swallowing the money yeah i remember that period in nigeria then we had the next one go i think monkeys or so Nigeria is just very hilarious. Anyway, the EFCC set to arraign the woman who blamed snakes for the missing 35 million naira, you know, and it's more than 35 million naira. They're also going to be arraigning her for the fact that she did not um, report to Jamb as she was supposed to with the amount that she was supposed to. So that's a pretty big case against her. I know one thing I was actually thinking about in the whole um, 35 millionaire and snake thing is, I think since there are like three recognized religions in Nigeria, we have Islam, we have Christianity, we have ATR. Maybe they should have, <laughs> maybe they should have a court for ATR issues because I mean, Nigeria and witchcraft. Uh, which is that we're here every time so basically the village people that were responsible for stealing the money uh, that's what it is but that's what it seemed uh, that's what she was insinuating anyway okay we would see you know how that we'll see how that goes and we'll report back to you definitely on what happens after that okay so yesterday on instagram a bit of drama happened we had Timmy Dakolo, you know Timmy Dakolo, the musician. He took to Instagram and he kept talking. He was talking about pastors and churches. And from everything that he said, he was insinuating actually that a pastor of a popular church, you know, raped a member of the church. And he was just basically talking about how churches, how members, you know, fail to neglect issues like that. And they, they, they basically they basically just you don't know, find a way around it and uh, don't even want issues like that to actually come up and now that it has come up everybody is pretending that it didn't happen basically that's um you timmy that color has that on his instagram he wrote a very long speech about it you know and there's been mixed reactions in his comments a lot of people have come out to you know commend him to say oh finally somebody's speaking it speaking out about this church and this um pastor that does this regularly to his church members so from the comment section would say that it's probably not the first time that that happened and you know he also um another set of people you know went out to say that uh, that timmy dakolo was there messing with spiritual authority you know that he should not get himself involved in church business um there was um a section of comments that said that there were other people too that actually accused you know these um timmy dakolo being biased you know they said that it was a consensual thing that happened but timmy dakolo insisted that it was a rape um when we um have the confirmed name of the church we would let you know and the pastor but it, you know it's it brought out questions about what people the gravity of things people actually keep quiet about in this country many things that should be talked about and should be said that we don't you know we don't talk about it the way we should because maybe fear or maybe the fact that i don't know it's just it's just really sad that there's stuff that should be said and that's not being said because you know particular sect of people has been I don't know whether to use the word brainwashed or stuff, but but it's it's really a sad development. Either way, either way, from everything that we gathered on social media yesterday, is the fact that that act happened and they happened and the church um a church member it was a pastor church member thing and it's just really disturbing to think about that you know and we've had cases like that over the years. You know we had the pastor in one of the eastern states that was um that that he's a pedophile you know that was messing with young boys that was committing homosexual acts with them and even pimping the guys out the children out um, to get money and it, it's just really disturbing to think about and the fact that people don't really come out to talk about these things because um you know it's like that there's some set of issues that we allow to be ignored in this country ignored or just like let's not talk about this you know and it shouldn't be so um also in sokoto that also went viral on social media a teacher a teacher was abusing young boys in his class that's um committing 
he was a pedophile and picking on homosexual it was an homosexual act and he was also pimping the boys out these are children and and homosexualism is not legal in Nigeria, so it may, it's really heartbreaking to see this kind of thing happening, and it's something that should really, really be talked about. Children should be encouraged to talk, you know, ask them what happened, probably give them guidelines and rules that, okay, nobody crosses this boundary with you, you don't sit on anybody's laps, you don't do this, probably that, and when that boundary is being crossed, the child knows to tell the parent that, Oh, you said this should not happen i didn't want this person to do this and eventually he did so you definitely know that okay something to look out for in, in the person that is uh, in the person that is probably perpetrating those evil acts but the fact that parents i don't know maybe there is a kind of um a level of sexual awareness that parents think that they shouldn't talk to their children about they feel that let's not get to this level with them yet and the truth is if you don't tell them at home they'll hear about it in school that's one definite thing that happens regardless of the age things like that are, they're just everywhere and we should jump it's just um we're just encouraging you from here to talk to your children and and always 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 talk about issues you should not keep things like that in your mind children and adults likewise you know nobody deserves to be abused um that's basically all for now no nip tv my name is longer Press. thank you for watching